What is going on, E Nation fans? This is Ian Perez 48 here. Welcome back to another episode of Racing Topics with Ian Perez. I believe this is either episode 20 or I don't know. I gotta, I gotta pay attention to that more often. Anyway, so a couple of things before I begin. One, I got my headphones on with the microphone because um, there were other episodes I tried to do, like I did, but there was like some BS audio, like the, the audio from the video did not pick up. So yeah, like I tried to do a video about the Confederate flag ban. That didn't do so well with the audio. I tried to do a rant about how some uh, how NASCAR fan base are being terrible with the uh, the Newsgate situation, but that didn't work out. So I want to try my headphones. And one more thing, I have been working on a stop motion race for almost three weeks. Um, I wanted to get it uploaded by the Fourth of July, but, um, because it's the Fourth of July special. Like, in case if I don't make it by that date, um, and if I do upload it, upload the race on a different date, um, expect, uh, the race, expect me to say happy 4th of July, folks, at that race. So, yeah, I just wanted to put that out. I'm trying my best to finish the race. So, yeah. Anyway, so, let's begin. So, today's topic is about how motorsports is gonna be in the month of July. If you are a motorsports fan who loves any type of racing in general, not just one, not, not just one racing series, but like myself, like I'm a huge motorsports, motorsports fan in general. Hell, I'm even watching the World of Outlaws Sprint Cars highlights from throwback to 2014 then then so on so on i'm almost done with 2019 then i'll catch up with 2020 i'll be all caught up then i'm thinking about watching late models what about law should i do that feel free let me know anyway so what is going on in july well thankfully the first half of 2020 is about to end can't believe it's almost july already and i can't believe if it's still 2020 honestly fuck this year However, July is going to be one hell of a month for us motorsports fans. Hear me out. So, on July, uh, the month of July, we're going to start off with um, the NASCAR and IndyCar Indianapolis crossover with the IndyCar Grand Prix, then the Xfinity Series, racing at the road course for the first time. I really hope it's the IndyCar layout of the road course, not just like the other way. And then the Bridgeyard 400. And then, guess what, folks? Formula One is about to start their season at Austria. Finally, it's been so long. It has been eight months since we've seen a season of Formula One racing. We were so close to get it at Australia back in March, but that didn't happen because I wonder why. But thank God Formula One is coming, folks. Grazie, grazie. Woo! And then, and then Daytona, we were supposed to have the Coke Show 400, like normally, but because of the random schedule crap, that's not the case this year. Will it be next year? I don't know. But... This year, we're going to have the Daytona 240 for the IMSA cars. 26 cars are going to be racing at, IMSA, at Daytona for the IMSA race. Um, they, they race at the Rolex 24, and that's been the only race they did this season. The second race of the IMSA season, they're going to Daytona again. And apparently, like this is not the only time that they, they did a Daytona 240. I'm surprised, honestly. If you guys know anything about the Daytona 240, uh, when they raced Daytona twice a year back then, let me know. So yeah, I hope Wayne Taylor Racing goes for the Daytona sweep then. Let's go Wayne Taylor Racing. 
All right, and then I told you about the the Brickyard Weekend. And then we're gonna have a bunch of double headers for IndyCar. Next, the first double header, I believe, is going to be Road America. And then they're and then they're gonna have the Iowa Twin Races. I think this is the first time we've seen like dual races since 2012. But I know it's a double header weekend. Um, and then on the NASCAR side, um, after Indy, um, uh, sadly they're going to go to Kentucky. I'm only going to watch Trucks and Xfinity, all of Kentucky is one of the worst tracks ever. I still like those series more, like, for Cup, I'm not watching Cup. Is, is it because of the package? Yeah. And also, that truck sucks. And then, God damn, the Cup Series is going to have a lot of crappy races. Kentucky, then Texas. Um, I don't know what else. I don't know what other races are they going to do. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. But not a crappy race. The, I think after Kentucky, they're going to be racing at Bristol for the All-Star Race. I'm looking forward to that. And that's the last race for Fox. And then NBC will take over. Oh boy, I can't wait for NBC to not. I I can't speak today. I can't wait for NBC to not shut the fuck up about a stupid chase. Yay! But um, aside from that, it's gonna be something else. God damn, I should have been more prepared. I don't know what's gonna happen after IndyCar. Like after Iowa, I think there will be. A, I think there won't be other races after Iowa in July. I'm not sure. IMSA, I really don't know either. Yeah, I should have been prepared. Oh yeah, Arca is going to be at IRP on Friday. I'm looking forward to that. And um, Formula One, I believe they're gonna. I think Formula One is gonna race at Silverstone this month as well. If I can remember correctly about that. Yeah, I should have been prepared. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But regardless, if I did leave out some races, let me know. I A lot of help will be appreciated. Thank you. But regardless, if you are a motorsports fan who loves racing, no matter what series, just like myself, then July is going to be an exciting month. I can't wait. Like, man, I, I am at a loss for words. I'm speechless about this. I just can't wait for july and i really hope july in general um doesn't suck but because of 2020 it might but in the racing world it's gonna be one hell of a could be one hell of a month for us race fans i feel like everything will be back to normal for racing so yeah um texas is gonna have fans i believe for the cup series only um kentucky's gonna have no fans like Imagine like, <laughs> who who would love who wants who the fuck wants to go to Kentucky anyway? That that truck is garbage, and it became more garbage. Never in my life I heard someone saying, oh, "This is a joke, by the way." Never in my life I heard someone saying, "Man, I want to go to man, I wanted to go to Kentucky this year. This sucks. I I wanted to go to that track in 2020, something like that." I'm joking, guys. I know some people love Kentucky. That's okay. That's okay. If you guys like terrible tricks, that's fine. We all have our different opinions. Anyway, yeah, sorry for going off topic. So let me run let me run this down very quick before I end this video. Um the first week of July, Formula One, Australia, um, NASCAR IndyCar crossover with the IndyCar Grand Prix, Xfinity Road Course, and then the Brickyard 400. Um Yes, um, honestly, like there has been like a NASCAR IndyCar crossover. I believe the only time we've seen that was trucks and IndyCar at Texas. But this crossover from NASCAR and IndyCar with the Xfinity Series and Cup Series and IndyCar, I this is a big deal because it, because it's Indianapolis. It's a big deal, and I really hope we get to see more crossovers like that in the future. A bigger crossover than Avengers, I'll tell you that. <laughs> All right, and then. Um, IndyCar goes to Road America twice. I was gonna have a race twice in IndyCar. 
Uh, NASCAR is going to go to Kentucky, then Texas, then Bristol. ARCA is going to have IRP. IMSA is going to be racing at Daytona again this weekend. So yeah, I don't know what's going to happen to the NHRA. I don't know when are they coming back. Supercross finished. So yeah. Other than that, I can't wait for July. Are you guys excited for this month? I am. So with that being said, I know this is I know this wasn't the best episode. I know I always say that, but I'm trying my best. Like I'm just doing this for fun because I'm a motorsports fan. I love talking about racing. That's the point of this channel. Like I'm not Mr. Professional. And I'm not making money off of this, okay? So yeah. I just I just I just love racing. I love I want to talk about racing with you guys. Because racing is the best. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Baseball's back, baby. Go Yankees. Woo! Hopefully we can get a fucking title this year. Because we didn't get one in the 2010s. We were so close a bunch of times, but whatever. Hopefully we get a title um, this year. Go Yankees. With that being said, thank you guys for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Follow my social accounts. Instagram, I'm Ampress25 and Ampress40 underscore IT. Like my Facebook page, Enesco Pretty Dash Nature Films. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube channel notification bell for more content. And thank you. Uh, fuck, fuck, I don't know what to say at the end. Let me get my water. Um. I can't do my outro right. I'm sorry that this video sucks. Turn on my YouTube channel notifications for more content. Thank you, guys. Okay, I think I got it. Thank you, guys, for supporting the Ian Nation. And one more thing NASCAR Heat 5 is going to come out on July 7th for the Gold Edition, and, the regular and then the regular game will be released on July 10th. Also, Formula 1 2020 is coming out as well. So, yeah, we got some racing games. All right. Twice as nice for race fans. Thank you guys for supporting E-Nation. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.